Playboy Cardi has been one of the hottest artists in the game since he first blew up in 2017. And one of the keys to his success is his ability to keep reinventing his sound to stay relevant and be able to influence the whole rap industry with his iconic beats. And recently, he's been creating a whole new sound with legendary producer Cardo that has been taking the industry by storm. Yo, Yo what? My man, he knows. Yo! Put him in a cuff. Put him in a cuff. Put him in a cup. So today we're gonna take a deep dive into the secrets that Cardo uses to produce these crazy new songs for Playboy Cardi. Cardo has produced almost all of the new Cardi songs that have dropped since late 2023, all the way into this year in 2024. And there's a few key elements to these new wave Cardi and Cardo beats that I keep seeing over and over. The first one is half step melodies, which is pretty much just a note that's one note apart from each other that gives off an evil dark vibe. The second thing is a big orchestral synth string heavy kind of foundation to the melody. All of these beats are around 140 to 145 BPM. Most of them have a catchy synth lead or some kind of synth element, and they've got some super unique and bouncy drums. So to start off our beat, we need to make a melody. And if I'm going to be honest, I think the best part of these new Cardo beats for Cardi are the drums, but we're going to get into those later. So make sure you stay for that. To get some inspiration for the melody, let's listen to Hood by Air. As you can tell, that melody is super dark and epic sounding, and the foundation of it is these dark cinematic strings. To get a similar vibe, I grabbed these synth strings from inside X-Band 2, and I put down this very simple MIDI using a ton of those half-step notes, which I'll explain in just a second. All right, so if we look at the MIDI right here, there's a bunch of these half step notes. And again, these are just notes that are one note apart, just like this. And when you're in the key of A minor, if we were to put these notes back down, the half step notes in this key are gonna be B to C. And then you're also gonna wanna use these ones down lower, E to F. If you use both those half notes at the same time, you're gonna be maximizing the amount of dark, evil kind of energy that you can get out of this, which is exactly the kind of feeling you want your MIDI to have for these kind of melodies. So right now, this is a nice foundation, but we need to build this melody out quite a bit to make it more interesting. If you listen to Backrooms by Cardi, you can hear that the melody that Cardo uses has a super catchy synth pluck kind of sound. In the middle of the field, throw me a bomb, throw me be like Cardi B. So I grabbed this pluck from the Elements of Trap Analog Lab Bank and put down this pattern. And that plug sounded cool, but I wanted a little bit more of a catchy vibe. So I went back into the elements of Trap Bank and played more of a catchy top line melody with a different plug. From here, I wanted to fill out the melody a bit more and give it more of that synthy kind of sound that a lot of these songs have. For example, if you listen to Backrooms, you can hear that there's a super ambient pad that helps fill out the melody. So I went back into the analog lab bank and put down this synth pad following the melody, as well as a low synth brass that just kind of adds some mean low end to the sample. Now the melody is pretty full and the foundation is pretty good and you could honestly leave it like this and have a pretty good beat. But if you listen to the melody on Hood by Air, you can hear this super catchy synth, almost vocal sounding lead that really sticks in your head. So I wanted to get a similar vibe by taking a vocal from the elements of Trap Kit and flipping it in a way where it sounds less like a vocal and more like some kind of synth lead sound. And this is what the vocal sounds like raw. So the first thing I did to flip that vocal, cause clearly that's not sounding like could by air at all right now, is I chopped it up a little bit and then I also pitched it up a full octave and I sped it up twice as fast as it originally was. And then we get this.
which sounds catchy, but it's definitely not sonically there yet. So what I did is I threw on this ambient accent mixer preset that I have, which is pretty much some guitar amps, some reverb, and then this really, really cool delay where I mess with the delay modulation right here, which kind of messes with the pitch of the delay. And then finally, I added this plugin M Rhythmizer, which is pretty much gross beat for Mac people. And it's just adding this simple gated filter. So it kind of has this stop and go effect. And I moved the dry and wet down just a little bit. So it's not so dramatic. It's a little bit more subtle. Once you add all those effects and mix it with the melody, it sounds like this. From here, I wanted to add to that creepy synthy kind of texture that a lot of these melodies have. So I went back into the elements of Trap Kit and grabbed these two analog synth phrases. And now the loop is finished. So now that we got the melody out of the way, we can get into my favorite part of Cardo's beats for Cardi, the drums. And there's some super unique and unorthodox things that he's doing with his drums that we're gonna get into in just a second. But if you like those sounds that we use to make the melody, all of them come from my Elements of Trap kit, which is this crazy kit I just put out with over 2000 samples, vocals, live instrument phrases, MIDI, and all the drums that we're gonna be using to make this beat in just a second. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you do because everyone who's got it has had great things to say about it and it'll be the first link in the description down below but anyways like i was saying cardo's new sound is super driven by the bouncy unique drums that he uses he's been doing some unconventional things as far as trap beats go that i think really make these beats stand out and i think are going to influence the sound in the years to come both cardi and cardo's willingness to step outside of the box and create something that hasn't been done before is a huge reason that both of them have stayed relevant over the years and why they're going to influence rap music for years to come from what i can hear there's four main elements to these new cardo drums the unique and unconventional bounce busy open hats unique percussion and of course cardo's signature a cowbell so let's dive right into recreating this style of drums. The first thing that stuck out to me were the open hats in these beats. They're super essential to getting the bounce of these new Cardi kind of beats. So I wanted to create a fire bounce with some busy open hats and to add some more bounce and make it a little bit less repetitive. I actually took two different open hat samples to create kind of a call and response kind of pattern. And once I had that, I wanted to add some more unique percussion before I added some more typical sounds like an 808, a hi-hat, and a snare. So I went back into the elements of Trap Kit to find Cardo's signature, a cowbell, and also this unique laser percussion sound like the ones on these drums. So I put down some simple but a little bit unconventional patterns with these perks and got this. Once I had this, I wanted to add some hi-hats. If you listen to Hood by Air, there's definitely some rolls to the hi-hats and at the very end of each pattern, there's actually these low triplet rolls that really add to the vibes. Nice girl. So I wanted to do something similar without overdoing it and came up with this. Next up, I added a simple snare to tie all those percussive elements together. And then to glue all the drums together, I needed an 808. And if you listen to Hood by Air, the 808 is super simple, but instead of hitting all at the same note, you can hear that it's jumping between notes quite a bit. And I feel like that adds to the kind of rage, hard energy that Cardi uses in a bunch of his beats. Nice girl. Also, if you listen to Backrooms, you can hear that it almost sounds like there's a synth bass playing underneath the 808. And I feel like that gives it a much harder and higher energy kind of texture to the beat. So I put down a simple 808 and layered that MIDI with a synth bass. And then I took an EQ and cut all the low end out of the synth bass so that there's room for the 808.
Now we could stop here and have a pretty good finish beat, but on Hood by Air, Cardo uses a genius technique where he has an A section of the drums that are a little bit less busy. And then as the beat progresses, it switches to this B section where there's more stuff going on and the patterns are more complex, which really helps evolve the track and give it more energy as it continues to go on. So I wanted to do the exact same thing on our beat, but before I made the patterns busy, I wanted to make the hi-hats a little bit more simple for this section, just so that I had more room to play with the percussion and the other sounds. And the first thing that I wanted to make a lot busier were the open hats, just like the ones on Ketim. <laughs> As you can tell, those open hats are busy as hell, but it brings a ton of energy and it gives this beat a super unique sound. So I did something similar by putting an open hat every single half bar. But like I said before, one of the key parts to these Cardi and Cardo beats is the unique bounce. So I shifted some of those open hats off of the normal half bar that all of them were hitting on to make it a little bit less linear and have a little bit more bounce. And then I also added back in that second open hat to create that call and response kind of sound with those open hats again. And that was a lot of time but this is what it sounds like. And finally, to finish off our drum section and add an even more unique drum bounce, Cardo did something insane on Ketamine. If you listen closely, you'll see that the snares are actually playing a little off time compared to a generic trap beat. You niggas don't love me? You bitch wanna fight me? My t-shirt on. So I wanted to do something unconventional here too. And at the end of every four bar pattern, I made sure that the snare was hitting before it's supposed to and after it's supposed to instead of right where it normally goes. And once I had that, I did one more key thing to add to this Cardo kind of bounce. I took all of the percussive elements and I shifted them off the grid just a little bit to add a little bit more human bounce. And once I did that, the beat was done. And this is what it sounds like. By the way, every single drum sound that you just heard was from the elements of Trap Kit, as well as most of the sounds I used to make the loop. So if you liked how this one sounds, make sure to click the first link in the description to check out Elements of Trap. Peace.